I saw someone ask a question in the Squarespace forums the other day, and it was, can I make my bolded text thicker? And the native solution is, well, no, you can't. You can only have normal text or bold text or monospace text. You can't have any other font weights. So the way to navigate this is by using some CSS. It's three lines and it's super simple, but it's a versatile piece of code that allows us up to nine levels of font thickness. So if for some reason you wanted your bold fonts to be thinner than the normal text, you could do that. But if you wanted it to be super thick, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna hop on over to the screen and I'll show you exactly how to do it. First of all, what we wanna do is add in our code. So I've already pre-populated this so you can see it straight away and I'm gonna explain it now. So strong is targeting bold. And then what we wanna do is open bracket, close bracket, and in between that, we wanna specify our font weight. Now I've added important to the end of this as well, just to override any other code that, that may be in here that may affect it. So you can leave this in or take it out. It's completely up to you. But anyway, we wanna specify our font weight. So let me just go into here and make sure this is bold. Okay, that's bold. So font weight goes from 100 to 900 in 100 increments. So you've got 100, 200, 300, etc. If we go to 100, that makes it thinner. And then as we go up, let's say 600, that will change it to normal weight. And then your 900 is going to be, we call this black, which is like the boldest you can be. Now, this will be completely dependent on the font that you use. So for instance, we can only get three font weights with uh, the Work Sans font that we're using there. But if we were to go for something like, let's go for rock, grotesque, hit save, then you can see we've got a much thicker font. So let's go back in. And as we go down, let's see if that changes anything. So 500 is when it goes back to normal. And then I think we may only have two font weights because when we go right down to 100, it doesn't change from 500. But when we go to 600, it goes really bold. And then even when we put up to 900, it doesn't go any bolder than that. So you've got to almost go all the way from 100 through to 900 to get the desired font weight that you want, just to see how many weights there actually are with this particular font. So just to recap, the actual code is strong, open bracket, close bracket, and in between, we want to put font weight, and then we specify a number between 100 and 900. The caveat being dependent on what font you actually use. There may be a smaller number of thicknesses that you can make the font. Hopefully you found this helpful. So if you did, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.